Let's take selfie. Now I cream. This my husband here. Yeah. Guys, this man. So that way I'm What's there. I do? You. But I judge your case for them, eh? Judge If I judge, don't press me, because when you don't know, carry your hands, you're always up to this. This man, eh? The Bible said that man shall not live by bread alone. And bread is significant to a lot of things. My husband, sex is bread. Those I are, love bread. Those are things of the flesh. I love bread. Sex is bread. <laughs> I agree. Fill yourself up. With the word of the Lord. Fill it up. Mm. Have your orgasm in the Lord. In the word. Mm. Let it satisfy you. Where is it to the Bible? Did the Bible not say that you should... Uh, 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 Say, pray for the systemic. Systemic, so I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't want to say anything. Don't Hello, guys, know. welcome back to the channel. If you're coming here for the very first time, you are welcome. My name is Prudence Apinoko, and with me here is my lovely husband, Kay the Apinoko. lover of bread. K. Apinoko, the I lover know. of bread. Mm -hmm. He loves bread so Soft much. Bread. It's pressing my bum bum, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrass me for national TV. <laughs> they already know you that you're a lover of bread. Okay. People should tell me in the comment section how many of you are your husband's lovers of bread, like this man. They want to have bread from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. 24 hours around the clock. They are never satisfied. Why? My waist, they pay me like this, this man. After I talk though, sorry, when I say no, they come off my belly. <laughs> he wants me to nasty position. Position to do what, sir? Guys, I want you to position, sir, the waist will not pay you again, huh? Guys, let's talk about pressing issues and leave mundane things. Mundane things, I let's, agree. Let's leave all this. I wanted to wear wig, but I couldn't be bothered. I did this makeup because we're going to shoot a video that we're struggling to shoot. Mm. <laughs> what is that video? <laughs> I don't want Josh Keso. Mm. When they pay you your salary, you better give my money back. Mm. Oh, yeah. As they pay you, because that canon, I bought that canon, four pounds. And then, because of your sexy, sexy body, you think, swear. We're trying to do gender reveal, but I think that video will be up already. I think it will be up already. I think that's the first video that will come up before this one. Well, guys, the cat is out of the bag. We are pregnant. Our rainbow baby yes, sir. is here. As in, God is so good, guys. Um, mm -hmm. There's just a lot to say. There's just a lot to say. There's a lot that you know, my heart has been full. And uh, you know, the the, 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 the this uh, when God turned uh, again the captivity of Zion, they were like very dark dream yeah. yeah so that's it's, it's like a dream you all know what happened uh, last, last year. year and uh, when i when i think of everything god has done don't make me cry i don't want to spoil my makeup please uh, no, i'll not make you cry i'll just i'll just say that when i think of everything that god has done for yeah. for me and my family for us um, god has been good words words cannot really quantify it Cannot put it uh, succinctly and uh, cannot express it. Well, that's just it because from we d we we did the Thanksgiving when we lost the baby and. Uh, also, like even though there's no baby to go and dedicate, we're still going to thank God, uh, you know, because we saw the hands of God. Nobody knew what would have uh, happened. Yeah. yeah. So. We, so that so that Thanksgiving was, thank was actually from. Well, uh, when that thing happened, I was, my wife was saying then that I didn't feel what happened and I didn't... Um, I, um, I can never lie, baby. Uh, you that, were not present. That I was not present. Yes. Uh, but that's far from the truth. That was the thing. You know, women, eh, if you are down and I'm down, then how do you expect us to... So we cannot be, though I wasn't uh, expressing what I was greatly pained. No, 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 man, no father will want that to 
to, we want to be in that situation. Uh, but we thank God, and when it happened, the only thing that, the only word that God kept bringing to my mind was in every situation, give thanks. Yeah. And that was when I told my wife that we should do a thanksgiving. Mm. And we would add that thanksgiving, we were ever planning it. People were like, ah, why are these people talking God? What are you talking God for? I was going to to dress as good as how we dressed for baby, baby dedication. dedication. We bought clothes, we sold clothes. We sold clothes. My wife did makeup, everything was just, you understand. And I remember... In case you have not seen that video, I'll link it somewhere. I, I, I'll link it somewhere. So I remember during the Thanksgiving, when we were dancing to the front, someone in church, I think Mr. Ibe, <laughs> he asked me that, ah, okay, what's going on? What's going on? I was just laughing because it was surprising to everyone yeah. that uh, after what happened, it still came ahead. And that day, uh, we were with other people that came to do dedication for their baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it, it, it's, it's a. It's a uh, how, how will I explain it? From the depth of your from your pain, uh, if you find the strength to thank God, to thank God that's, that's something that. Uh, as a sacrificial praise. Yes, a sacrificial you know, praise, yes. A praise, a praise from a place of pain. pain yeah. Praise when when it doesn't look like, you know, yeah. it's not it's not beautiful, it's not glamorous, but then you're still thanking God. I think that those are the most potent thanksgiving ever. ever yeah. As believers, we would always find, you know, in, in the moments of prayer answered, you always have reasons to thank God. Yeah. But then, I think it's more potent when you have a reason to thank God, even when there is no, no reason, reason to your, thank Your eyes him. can't see it, but yeah. you are still grateful. Yeah, yeah. The fact that bad things happen or you, you are going through a challenge doesn't mean that God is no, no. longer good. Yeah. God is always good. good. And always. somehow in that challenge, if you really, really look at it, uh, God yeah. is still there. He's still there in yeah. the midst of you. Yeah. And, uh, so... We are here now. We are so thankful. We want to encourage people that are, you know, trusting God for one thing or the other. It might not be a child, even if it's a child. We want to encourage you that, you know, see the good, the goodness of God in, his, in, in, that, situation. in that situation. Thank yeah. God. See, even if tears are coming out from your eyes. Thank Him. Never lose your joy. Yes. Is, uh, like my pastor will always say, that joy, eh? The joy of the Lord, eh? who don't do it, even yeah. in the midst of your challenges, yeah. in the midst of your trials, yeah. who don't do that joy? Yeah. Because as believers, eh, we, we, we are not supposed to look like what we are going through. Of course. You know, we, we like... We're, and God never leaves us alone. Uh, yeah. He equips us for every season yeah. that we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. you know? so, so, like, after that Thanksgiving, everything has been... Back to back, as the God has just been giving us back to back, 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 back. You understand? Then, uh, testimonies of testimonies of testimonies of testimonies. So we can't yeah. even remember to share. We can't even remember to share all of them, but uh, <laughs> we, we've remember. done our best to to carry you guys along, and uh, mm. this us coming out to officially tell you guys that we have a baby. We have a baby in the cook, in the work, in the oven. Coming, 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 coming. Like, my stomach is so big. Yeah. My stomach is so long. We're almost there. Yes, we're almost there. We're, we're almost there. I don't know, for some reason, I've been unable to document this pregnancy. I don't know. I think I, I wasn't just led to document. My stomach kept saying, vlog now, do this now. I was just not led to, you know. And there's a place where, you know, when you just want to serve, serve something by yourself, I think that's where I, I was in the whole of this pregnancy. And plus the pregnancy was not planned, guys. You know, at first when we lost the baby, mm -hmm. my, my first desire was I want to try for another child ASAP. But the more I kept trying, the more I felt more pain because I wasn't getting pregnant. But the minute I removed my mouth, my mother was telling me that she was not the one that I pregnated you. Did, 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 actually, did, did God ever actually give you the room to try? Because this thing happened so quickly that it's the easiest uh, you have conceived. Yeah. 
I didn't take any medicine. Even even, even when uh, she, I think she went to to a regular checkup, and the doctor told her that uh, she had a rather pink or something. Yeah, PCOS. Yeah, right. And that one of my um, tubes, one was blocked. Yeah. And that for me to get pregnant, I had to come. Let's do HRG scan, mm -hmm. and then I was booked for one other scan that I was supposed to go and do. Yeah. But I'm afraid of all those things. My mom would say, "Okay, I let's go and do." But I was, I was just drawing and drawing and. So by the time I went back to the hospital, You're pregnant. I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Move, and, and I think you know, you know how I found was... that I'm going to, the video. The next video I'm going to supposed to be how I find out that I was pregnant. Guys, people are going to laugh. The, the doctor was a little shocked. And I, the doctor was not telling him that, okay, he thinks I got pregnant with the other That's, tube. Yeah, he was trying that, to explain that, what uh, God has done. <laughs> he said he thinks I got pregnant with the other tube. I said, when you shake me and let me be going, I'm like, no, come and give me. He just be like waiting. Um, that abattoir that I was watching when, uh, uh, what's this girl's name again? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot her name. The uneducated girl that played the role of a prostitute. You know, she was saying, talking about faith and fat. Say faith. Faith not be anybody mate. <laughs> Say where fat they talk, faith go keep quiet. Where, where faith, faith they, they talk, talk. fat go keep quiet. I'm forgetting her name. Why am I forgetting her name? She's my best character. <laughs> She's my best character. Yeah. yeah, so we just wanted to come in and just with you guys and tell you guys that we're here. Uh, yeah. A new journey begins. Yeah. And usually begins and uh, and for those of you that have been suspecting, most of you have been no, but but so many of those things annoyed me a lot. Yeah. They annoyed me a lot because I'm like, I think that we need to get a place where we respect what people do not want to share. You know, if even if you are saying something, just be a big person and keep quiet. Even some people that were maybe were kind of cordial, they still went to the comment section. Even when I had ranted on my Instagram saying that. Please, I think when to look where I posted about how uh, people were talking about, you know, dropping on the comment section. And some people came as far as sending me email. You look, mm -hmm. you are pregnant. Are you pregnant? Why would you tell us that? You know, stupid, stupid. You are not my husband. I'm not married to your family members. I just think that we should get a place where we are okay with, you know, seeing things and just shutting up. You must not talk. I was eventually come to share it that they had belly. They know they had belly now with the person who goes hide for life. Okay, even if I hide, 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 hide. Will I not still come to the channel with the baby? I be, will I be vlogging and baby will not cry on the vlog? Eventually, I was, you, you guys know that I'm not someone that, I don't, I'm not the one to hide things. But it was just a season for me where, actually with the kind of comments that people, you know, so many of those comments got me to a place where I was not thinking of, not be everything person they share, truly. Mm, yeah, when that, uh, this year, when we when lost, we lost the, some people were saying they were witches, they can see one thing. They would, some say the one said she said a uh, diviner, I'll be out of the color. She would, you know, some crazy crazy. And I'm like, now nah, crazy people put this thing in my bed. Let me be careful with the kind of things I'm sharing. I would not really say that I was an instruction from God to say, okay, Prudence Apinoko, don't share this pregnancy or share it. No, I don't, I don't think it was. But then, before I found that I was pregnant, we know we're already in the middle of the relocation thing. I got worried at some point that how are we going to even cope? But then, God has the way he arranges things, you know. Yeah. And in that season, I was in a place where God has said that I should rest on my eggs, you know. Just like um, a chicken that lays egg. You know, you have to rest on the egg. You cover them properly for them to hatch good eggs um good chicks good chicks you know so i was already in that place so i just followed it with this pregnancy people know that i don't hide things but i just expected that you know as adults a lot of people would just respect the fact that i wasn't ready to share it i wasn't hiding it i was vlogging i know that there were mothers everywhere <laughs> my face changed i started to even when i was still vlogging i was already losing my breath i was still vlogging but that's the that I wasn't hiding it, but I just didn't want to come in to announce that I'm, I'm pre I wanted to relieve the whole thing, you know, by myself and then share afterwards. And yeah, so I'm still pregnant filming this video. And by the time I post it, I'll still be pregnant. So, uh, mm -hmm. so it's, you know, people will do things when they are comfortable to do them. And with for someone who has been through loss, I think we're just wise, you know, to just go through this one and 
not be all over the place sharing you know yeah so i hope you guys change those who did all those dropping all those comments don't 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 share people's testimonies even when you're already in the in the know no, yeah. don't share it just let them share their testimony at the right time you know or share whatever it is they want to share at the right time it's not your place they did not send you you are not a messenger okay yeah so hello guys that's it let's head over to go and shoot our gender review video that we have been struggling with maybe mm -hmm. i don't do this makeup this is like the third time for this particular for the particular video i pray that today is the day that we we'll finally get it if not score when me and this one go score i've already told him that before i will shoot that video maybe i will don't bomb mm. before i will shoot the video <laughs> but guys a, it's actually a good thing <laughs> but guys thank you so much for watching thank you guys for watching thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and um see you guys Welcome to a new series. Yeah. Welcome to a new Tell season. Subscribe, subscribe. Yes. Like, share, comment. Yes. Do all the good stuff. Yeah. Welcome to a new season of course. We are going to mommy this baby together. Now I feel like we never born before. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused about a lot of things. I've not I've not been pregnant to this stage before in six years. Last time I had a baby was twenty sixteen. That's in complete speaking. Adele, my other baby that that we lost, we lost him at 32 weeks plus and now I've passed that stage so you know as in so many things I'm going to share them in the video I'll be doing alone to juicy people so many things guys so much you know but yeah so okay. guys let's end it huh? yeah love our bread let's end it let's end it let me go and eat some bread <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you guys in our next video. Love always from Prudence Apinoko and Kay. Apinoko. Yeah. Bye.